Hello everybody, this is Bronislava for Handmade Rukodielky. In today's video I will show you how to crochet this V section for my uh, crocheted sweater. Okay, uh, I'm very sorry that it's taking so long uh, for some of you who are following and crocheting along. I have so many projects that I have no idea what to do first, but uh, we're coming to the completion of this one. So, uh, yes, so today we will be working on this, all right? Uh, let me go and talk to you a little bit first about this piece that we will be working on. Uh, so what we will do is, after we start our initial, um, you know, the beginning, uh, we will go and do two rows with same number of repeats and then we will decrease and we will have lower number one less repeat okay so we will decrease in this row do two rows again of the same rows as we decreased then we will decrease again Okay, we will finish that row and do two more rows and then we will repeat the same thing. Again, we will decrease by one repeat and do two rows of the same as the de last decreased uh, row. Okay. We need to start our foundation with 22 chain stitches. Now what we need to do is we need to skip first stitch, make single crochet stitch right here in the second one into second chain stitch, make three chains, skip three chains. Okay, so this is where we were. Our this is where is our uh, single crochet. So we need to skip this one this one and this one and make single crochet stitch in the next fourth stitch okay now we will repeat one two three skip three stitches one two three single crochet in the fourth continue like this all the way to the end You should have five repeats. In the second row, what we will do is we will start with chain four. One, two, three, four. Now the very first repeat, because these are gonna be other repeats, okay, is going to be different from these other repeats. That's because we're starting with chain four over here, okay. And then in here, in the chain three, we will make two double crochet stitches. So that's one, two. Now we will make one half double crochet stitch and one single crochet stitch. Okay, now we have four chain stitches in here. And we need to repeat that over here. So what we will do is we will first make single crochet stitch in the next chain three space. Okay. And we will make three because we already have one chain there from the single crochet. So now we will make three chain stitches. And we will repeat everything else like over here. Okay, which means two double crochet stitches, that's one, two, half double crochet, one half double crochet, one single crochet. Okay, and we will repeat this one, what we did in here, we will uh, repeat it three more times. So, single crochet in the next chain three space, three chain stitches, 
two double crochet stitches half double crochet and single crochet okay and again repeat this last one two more times Okay, so it looks like this right now we will turn and we will work on our third row we will make six chain stitches one two three stitches count as double crochet stitch now we will make three stitches one two three this counts as our chain three space like this okay and over here in this chain three space we will make single crochet we will make chain three one two three and in next chain three space we will make single crochet again and we will repeat this all the way to the end so it looks now like this now we will repeat row number two so turn around and we will start again with chain four one two three four all right now we will make two double crochet stitches half double crochet stitch single crochet stitch in the next space single crochet stitch oops single crochet stitch three chain one two three two double crochet stitches half double crochet single crochet repeat repeat all the way to the end okay i'm finished with my repeats now let me go and push that little bit here like this see because that's our three chain over here and this is supposed to be our three chain for the um for the uh double crochet stitch okay and now we will be doing again the uh, row three, repeating row three. So we will turn around and do our six chain stitches. So one, two, three. That's the double crochet and three for the space. Okay. And again, chain, uh, I mean, single crochet and chain three. One, two, three. And after this, when I'm done, I will be showing you how to do the decrease. All right, are you ready for the decrease? But I want to talk about uh, this decrease over here that I initially did on this piece, okay? It's kind of uh, round in here, and I want it a little bit more I want it shorter here, so it's more, you know, on a straighter, straighter line. Hopefully that will happen. Okay. So initially, I did five chain stitches over here. Okay. But we will have to go and do only four in that case. And then, over here, we always start with uh, chain stitches over here. Okay. But if I want to start with chain stitches in here, what I need to do is I need to do a single crochet stitch in, in here, in the chain, uh, chain three space. The only thing is that if I do that, then my stitches are gonna be all the way down. They're gonna be parallel with this one. And I don't want that. So we will start first row of our decrease row with a 
a double crochet stitch and then our two double crochet stitches half double crochet stitch and single crochet stitch and after we uh, finish with this one then the three following ones are going to be done exactly the same one, same way like we have done uh, in this row okay um, so let's go and do that so I have those four stitches right in here right and we are going to skip this chain three and we will be working in this chain three so instead of like I said doing the single crochet you see and it's parallel so we don't want that right so we want it in an angle so we will make a double crochet stitch instead and we will make chain one for that little space in there okay now we will make two double crochet stitches one and two and then we will have that one notch in there like we have over here okay so two double crochet stitches and a half double crochet stitch single crochet stitch and single crochet stitch chain three and two double crochet stitches half double crochet stitch single crochet stitch okay repeat two more times And now we will be doing again the uh, row three, okay? But we will finish instead of all the way here, we will finish right here. So we will do only four repeats now, okay? So we will do six chain stitches, single crochet, three, one, two, three single crochet three one two three single crochet three one two three single crochet okay so we have four repeats now and we will do four repeats instead of five repeats so you will repeat now row two and three with only four repeats okay and you will do that you will do two two times two rows of row two and three okay and let me show it to you again so uh, here we did the decrease and above the decrease we have one and two rows okay two two rows okay which really means actually four rows row two row three row two row three and then we will repeat again the decrease over here and we will have only three repeats this way okay and after that we will do again two rows all right or basically four rows with three repeats only and then we will do another decrease and then we will finish here at the top okay as you see I'm finished with my four rows or two pattern kind of you know these triangle pattern repeats and I'm ready to go and do another decrease so again we will do one two three four okay four chain stitches we will do double crochet stitch and chain one okay and now we will do our two double crochet stitches half double crochet stitch chain I mean a uh, single crochet <laughs> stitch <laughs> single crochet stitch okay and then chain three one two three and repeat okay 
and then we will go again after I'm finished with this uh, we will again uh, go all the way only to here so we will do only three repeats on the way back Okay, we will turn it around. We will, we will do six chain stitches. Okay, and our single crochet stitches here. Three, one, two, three. Single crochet, three, chain, single crochet. Okay, and now we will go and do two more times these two rows two more times uh, with three repeats over here okay so here we do only four okay and then we will for four chain stitches and then we will do two and so on okay so i will go and do one more decrease okay let me go and show it to you over here i will have to do after i'm finished with this part and these two i'll do one more decrease in here and uh two more repeats this way okay and then we will be working around the edge and connecting it to the sweater as you see i'm working on my next to last row which would be a, a, a second row with two repeats okay now we will turn around we're working on the wrong side over here we will make again six chain stitches single crochet in the space chain three single crochet in the space okay so now that i am finished with my last row of this uh, v part okay uh when i was working on this one on this part uh, i actually started working on the edge on the wrong side over here so this stitch is on you know uh, crocheted on the right side but the part is on the wrong side so I have to rethink this part I need to rethink it how to do it better okay uh, and I don't want to do too many changes so I will start working in this direction now these stitches over here all the this part fits pretty well with my front sweater okay and this is the uh for the righties this is the right side and if you're uh if you're going to be uh, working on a you know when i have the uh, video also done for the lefties this is gonna be left side for lefties okay anyway so uh just just to let you know that okay now this like i said fits pretty well except I want to redesign this part over here and then this is going to be pretty much similar to this one okay so let's go and start working in this direction on this part so we need to turn around okay and we need to work in this direction so what I want to do first is slip stitch into this part right here and make chain three which represents double crochet stitch and i will make dub two double crochet stitches in the chain three space now this is going to be chain two to attach to the side and right here we will make corner so three double crochet stitches Okay, chain two to attach it, and again chain three. Okay, 
okay? Now chain two, one, two, and we will be working on our side. Basically, this side is, is two parts, okay? This is one granny square, and this is another granny square, okay? So we need to go and have, between the granny squares, we do need to have that uh, corner part, and a side here, and a side here, and then a corner again, okay? So over here, we will do three, uh, three times, we will repeat four double crochet stitches in these three, okay, in each of them. So we will make four double crochet stitches right here in this chain three space. So that's uh, four. Chain two, and let's do this two more times. Actually, I should be really now connecting it to to the sweater. So let me go and yeah, let me go and show it. So we have to go and take this all out. And let's go and work on the sweater immediately. Uh, now that I am uh, going to show you how to do this, uh, and uh, the video may be a little shaky because I have to hold the sweater with my legs over here because it's, it's falling off the table. Uh, anyway, so, um, so we will have corner here, okay? Uh, which is gonna also this this one is gonna attach to this corner this and this corner and I forgot to attach this one so I'm gonna be attaching this corner to these two as well along with this one okay and so we need to work on part of this this part okay this these are uh, four double crochet stitches in here and we need to attach it here then work on the double crochet stitches and then attach it here and then work on a corner okay so let's go and do it this way let's because we don't have these chain two so let's make chain three here one two three and attach it right there okay let's go attach it to the to this uh first double crochet stitch with a slip stitch, okay? Now we will make uh, three more double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Chain one, okay? And attach it with a slip stitch. Chain one. Let's go and make a corner, okay? So chain three. I mean, not chain three, uh, three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Okay, chain one. Now we have to attach it here and to these two. Okay, so let's go and attach it right there in here in this chain stitch okay and this way we will go and attach all of them together as they should be actually with a single crochet stitch okay now we need to make three double crochet stitches again in the corner and i need to actually turn it all around you see it needs to reach all the way down here okay so let's go and do our chain three, not chain three, <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, three double crochet stitches. Okay, let's go finish that corner. <laughs> oh my gosh, my brain. Okay, chain one, and now we need to attach it into the space right here, okay? And we're going to go and do single crochet. 
you see, it's been quite a while that I was working on this uh, with the holidays and everything. Too much uh, happening in my life, so I really forgot if I was doing it with slip stitch or, or single crochet. You can choose whatever you want, okay? You can do it with slip stitch or single crochet, but I think I was doing it with a, with a single crochet, okay? So anyway, so let's go and continue uh, with this. So I will make a chain one after I attached it. And now we will go and do those four double crochet stitches in each space okay so you see four double crochet stitches chain two four chain two four and then the corner so we need to have three of these okay so let's do that in three of these one two three okay and we will be attaching it right there in those corner you know in these spaces right there so we will make in this space we will make four double crochet stitches one two three four chain attach it single crochet or slip stitch whichever you want okay uh, now we're gonna do another four double crochet stitches in the next chain uh, three space three and four chain one attach it okay chain one and again one two three and four and attach it chain one single crochet chain one and we're going to start working on our corner okay so we we really need three um double crochet stitches here three double crochet stitches in here and let's go and see how it looks over here. So we skipped one over here. So we have that extra space over here. So it's not, you know, too stretched. Okay. And then we did the, you know, the three stitches, three double crochet stitches in there. Chain for the attaching it. And then again, three, we need to make three double. And then we will skip this space over here, okay? So let's go and skip this space, this one. Make three double crochet stitches right in here. So that's one, two, and three. Chain one, we will attach it right here. And let's attach it into the um, single crochet stitch. Okay, chain one, and let's go and make in the next chain three space. We will make another um, uh, three double crochet stitches. one one chain and we will attach it right in here okay so we attached it let's go and see how it looks okay looks good every single uh, chain to space is attached now we need to skip this let me go and we need to skip this one and we will make our four double crochet stitches in here okay but first first we need to I'm a little tangled over here first we need to do a chain skip this one and we will make four double crochet stitches one 
two, three, four. Okay, chain one, attach it to the space with a single crochet, chain one, make four double crochet stitches again, one, two, three, four, chain one, let's go and move up a little bit in here so you can see what I'm doing, attach, chain one, let's go and make another four double crochet stitches, one, two, three, four, chain, attach, chain, and now we will go and make our corner right here, okay? So we will make three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Okay, we will attach it. Let's go and see how we're going to attach it because we have three corners in here. So I think that we do need to attach it right here through these two, okay? right there okay and now uh, let me go and turn it around again okay I turned it around so I attached it to the corner we will make chain we didn't make chain yet we will make again three double crochet stitches chain one we need to attach it right here in the next space okay again I'm using um, single crochet but again you could go and use uh, slip stitch if you need if you want to okay chain one now we need to make one two three four double crochet parts over here okay so we will make one here so this is gonna be four double crochet stitches okay four chain one and attach chain one repeat again one two, three, four, chain one, attach, let's attach it, chain one, now we need to go and do four double crochet stitches, Four double crochet stitches, chain one, attach, chain one, and over here we will make corner, okay? So we will make one, two, three double crochet stitches, attach, And actually, over here, let me go and show you now, because we're basically finished. We're basically finished. So, hold on one second. Let me go and show you what's happening in here. We have this uh, V section, right? And over here, I did single crochet stitches along this edge. If I finish this corner with three double crochet stitches, actually I would have to continue with double crochet stitches, right? You see? 
So basically we do have two choices. Double crochet stitches, like you know when I just started, or single crochet stitches, which you would go and start working with single crochet stitches along this edge. And you would go and make them, these single crochet stitches, spread evenly. Okay? And I think that I would go and do like three single crochet stitches in each chain three space. And let's go and see how it's going to look like when I go and make a couple more. Now over here, this was the decrease and there are four chain stitches, but I would go and make four, uh, I mean, I would go and make three double crochet stitches. And let's go and see how it looks if we do that. Skip this space if it's not going to be too tight. And it looks it looks nice and not too not like this one, right? You see? It's kind of bulky in here in these places. It's more evenly uh, in an angle. So yes, I will actually, I really like, uh, instead of double crochet stitches, I do like single crochet stitches in here. So I will go and make three single crochet stitch stitches in each space, in each three chain or four chain space, and continue all the way over here. However, if you prefer, you could be making double crochet stitches. Three double crochet stitches in each of these spaces. And here I'm coming to the end. So I'll make three here. And then we will just slip stitch it right here, slip stitch and a knot. Okay, and you see it's, I stretched it out a little bit uh, and it doesn't, it's, does, it doesn't warp. Okay, so uh, that's how I would go and attach this piece this V piece, okay? And I think that I do like, uh, you know, that we did uh, the uh, single crochet stitches because it would be way out too much, I think. So as you see, this is how it looks. Fits pretty good, right? I just also wanted to tell you um, that for people who have um, wider arms you could go and do attach the the uh the square one of the squares but i would do a different color uh over here and over here so first i would attach it to the bottom part which is back and back part of the arm okay right there okay and i left it purposely open over here and then I would attach it to the front and the front part of the arm. All right. So that's another way of making the sleeves a little wider and roomier in this area for people with a little bit uh, wider uh, upper arms. Okay. And uh, so this is... Uh, this is, I'm almost finished with this sweater. I still have to do one, two, three squares and another V over here, which is going to be another video. Okay. 
and then just crochet all around give it a nice edge so I would go and crochet all around the entire perimeter of the sweater like this 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 then over here okay and then around around the sleeves if needed okay so um, this is it for today ladies and gentlemen uh, thank you so much for uh, watching my videos again happy new year because this is uh, the end of 2018 um, and let's go and be busy let's go and create many beautiful things thank you share my videos and you will see me another time <music>